Welcome to this free immigration help channel. In this video, I wanted to address uh, the questions that I get regarding the asylum cases, specifically asylum case status, uh, whenever it comes to before the interview, the scheduling of the interview, and uh, also the application for the employment authorization uh, documents, because there are two different numbers. There's 150 days, there's also 180 days. So, in this video, we will uh, address uh, some of these questions whenever it comes to uh, asylum in general. Uh, but specifically, I wanted to address the question that I got recently uh, from one of the subscribers. And basically, the, the situation is that he applied for asylum uh, quite a long time ago, almost five years uh, to, to be more specific. And he did not even have the interview scheduled yet. So he wants to know why is it taking so long? Um, of course, if you're, you know, if you're planning to apply, if you have not applied yet, you know, a lot of people are, you know, worrying why it is taking so long before the interview. So hopefully, in, in this video, I will, uh, I'll kind of uh, try to address uh, all of these questions. So with the very first one, let's start uh, so that you can um, see why certain cases uh, pr are processed really quick. And then some other cases, they take years. Um, and, and the reason for that is because USAS, I think, is a completely um, unfair and, and kind of uh, not the correct way to do the um, priority, um, priority date for addressing these uh, asylum applications. And that was done just recently in January 2018, so only about five years ago um, and uh, basically I'll, I'm gonna read the priorities and then I'll try to explain why I think it's unfair and why it's creating all this crazy backlog for some of the applications so there is a first priority applications that were scheduled for an interview but the interview had to be rescheduled at the applicant's request or need of USAS. Second priority, applications that have been pending 21, 21 days or less. Third priority, all other pending affirmative asylum applications will be scheduled that, I think they missed that, will be scheduled for interviews starting with newer filings and working back towards older filings. So what that means is that if you have filed your application before January 29th, 2018, it's been already over five years. But if you file it before, your application is actually in the third priority. It's not the top priority, which it should be if you think about it, if you want to be fair, if you want to be logical. Hey, you know, we have the cases that have been waiting for years. How about we prioritize them and address them? Nope, not the case. I'm not sure why this was done, uh, but this is this is the situation that we have. That's why a lot of cases that, um, like for example, in this particular question that I've received, this person that is having a problem and still waiting for the interview to be scheduled, uh, which means that the case basically didn't even start yet because it is the interview. Well, y yes, you do submit the application, but it is actually the interview that kind of determines where your case goes. Will it be considered for the asylum? Will you be granted asylum? Or will you be denied or they rebuttal, they request more evidence or, or, or whatever. And if in case if it is denied, then your case goes to the immigration court for further processing. And then there's a whole other array of dates that you have to wait for master hearing individual hearing it's it takes a long time this process and yet the people who've been waiting the longest they are in the third priority okay now what about the applications that are being filed after january 29 let's say you are you know you're watching this video and you're planning to apply for asylum what do you do how long will it take okay so if you apply anytime really after January 29th, 2018, but let's say today, February 28th, you know, unless you're watching this video two years down the road and, and something changed, but as of right now, February 28th, 2023, 
if you apply today, as soon as your case is accepted, basically your application for asylum is accepted by USAS, within 45 days, USAS has to schedule you the interview. And then after the interview, they have uh, they approximate about two weeks to receive the decision, which combines the whole thing to just about two months. Two months. And yes, so if you file after, you see how unfair it is. So in this video, I also kind of wanted to give reasoning why USAS did it. And then it kind of will lead us to the employment authorization. We will talk about the employment authorization for uh, pending asylum in general. Uh, but supposedly, bad reason, but supposedly USAS did that this way with these unfair priorities because they don't want people applying for asylum to use that application for asylum to get employment authorization document. And now, I think it's a silly, silly reason. Uh, it's really, really silly reason because I, of all the cases that I, I've seen in my you know, 20 years experience working in immigration field, as many cases I have seen, there was not a single person that ever even thought of f filing this petition for asylum to like, oh yeah, I'm gonna gr get myself a employment authorization document. That's why I'm filing my case. I, I don't know, because really what I saw from people is fear. They're afraid of the process. It's a really, really serious process. You're starting a really serious thing and you will go for the interviews and you will go through the background checks and you will possibly go to court. It's a serious thing to start it just to get employment authorization document. <coughs> but again, whatever, that's how USAS explains this. And that brings me to um, the whole conversation about the employment authorization document. That was <clears throat> the case for, for a long time now. But basically, once you submit your application, once you receive the receipt from USAS saying that, hey, we received your application, basically saying that they accept your application for asylum. Now you have pending asylum status. After 150 days of having this pending asylum status, if USAS have not responded yet or invited you for an interview or there is no movement, it's just sitting there pending, you can submit the application for the employment authorization document. And I've actually done a video and I think in this video, I'm actually giving an example with the pending asylum. Um, it, pre pretty recently, I've updated, uh, uploaded an updated version for uh, how to fill out that uh, application for the employment authorization document. So if you're interested, you can find it on this channel. It is um, uploaded. But 150 days, you can submit the application for the employment authorization document. And with by law, right? After 180 days, USAS, they can issue you. So technically you have to be pending asylum 180 days before you can get your employment authorization document, but you can apply after 150 days. And that's also kind of weird to me, honestly. Why not just make one, one clock, you know, apply for under, after 150 days and then just whatever. I don't know, but that's how it is. Um, so that's, that's really it in this video. Hopefully now you can kind of understand. Um, I, I know if you have been waiting for six, seven years, you know, like the person who asked the question, um, it might be frustrating. It might be frustrating because, well, I mean, it is information directly from USAS official government website. Um, but it doesn't really answer your question. How long will you be waiting? Your time will come for the interview. Will you be waiting? Yes, you will be waiting for some time. You might be waiting for another a year or two years or three years because these applications are in the third priority. 
but nevertheless they are being processed USCIS is working on them so the only really thing that you can do at this point is uh, to have patience so I hope I was uh, helpful with this video let me know in the comments below if you have any questions and uh, every week I try to make a video where I go through all your comments through all your immigration related questions and I answer them live uh, so if you have any questions you can drop it in the comments below and I will uh, address it uh, sometime soon uh, so thank you for watching God bless and I'll see you in the next video